impasse continues in Manipur University. No end in sight to the current stalemate. Intensifying the stir, members of the Manipur University Students Association and the Manipur University Teachers Association launched an indefinite relay hunger strike today. The protesters resolved not to end the hunger strike until their demand for the ouster Vice Chancellor A.P. Pandey is met. Being a president of the Manipur University of Houston, to join the relay hunger strike started from today and it will be continuing until unless to remove the our main demand, uh, Professor A.P. Pandey, to remove of the Vice Chancellorship. Pointing out that the future of students of colleges affiliated to Manipur University is at stake, the protesters also demanded an independent inquiry to probe the allegations against the VC. To save the life of the uh, these students of the Manipur, not only the students of the Manipur University, but also the students of the Manipur, because 97 colleges are reflected to the under the Manipur University. So we like to save the students of all the students community. That's why we joined here and started this relay and strike here from today. But our this I already told you our main resolution is that demanding is that for the joint committee is that to remove the vice chancellor immediately and to investigate uh, and by establishing an independent inquiry committee so as to prove the uh, allegations searched by us by committees. The student protesters also accused the centre and the state government of shielding the VC who is allegedly behind financial and other irregularities in the university. In fact, uh, they also resolved to take out a mass rally involving students and women's organizations to further press for their demand for the ouster of the Vice-Chancellor. I think from the very beginning, the state government and the central government, they are uh, not very much concerned. It seems they are not very much concerned about this, about our issue. Uh, they are just trying to say, trying to save uh, one person and victimizing the students and say renewing the academic atmosphere of the university. Yeah, as per, as per resolution of the this joint committee, were resolved to organize a mass rally. Say, I already told that uh, this, I already mentioned that, including all the sections of peoples from many for the civil society organizations, women's organization, made up by organizations, and student organization. It may be in the near future, after in the this second wave of July. We already resolved to organize a mass rally. Significantly hinting at an arson angle in the sports complex of the university once again, the Muta alleged that unauthorized people from outside were spotted in the campus on the night of the incident. The protesters, of course, had alleged that the incident could have been a ploy to derail the peaceful and democratic agitation of the students. That is the firing in the uh, assistant uh, director of sports office on 7th of this month in the midnight. And actually we are processing in a very, very peaceful and democratic way. We are not uh, indulging in any uh, what is called a violent motion. However, in the night of this 7th, uh, firing was held and then uh, Actually, we tried to find out the reason uh, why it was occurred like this, and uh, we found some uh, other persons also, uh, which was uh, unauthorized uh, persons, that means uh, located in the guest house and other things. Well, with the student bodies and the teachers resolute in their bid to continue intensifying the protest, the government and the HRD may have to intervene soon to break the deadlock. Premananda reporting for Northeast Live from Impal.